video lesson, we discussed the concept of an herbarium. It's a collection of plant specimens mainly used for taxonomy as well as many other sciences. Now that you know the importance of an herbarium, you can begin collecting specimens. To do this, you'll need the proper tools. The first thing you'll need are gardening tools. <laughs> Obviously. A dissecting kit can be used for collecting delicate specimens and preserving them. Bring documentation materials for observations which need to be made on the field. Easy? Here's the tricky part, so pay attention. From the field, the specimens need to arrive at the lab in top condition, so you'll need to make preparations. For pressed plants, you'll need dryers and a plant press, which we'll discuss in a while. Anything else that can't be pressed goes in jars or bags. For unpressed plants, clear plastic bags and moist newspaper may be used. For wet plants, you'll need 70% denatured alcohol. Let's go back to the plant press. There are three types. The first is made from wood or bamboo strips arranged in a lattice. It's fastened with twine or cord. The second is made with metal frames and wire mesh. It's fastened together with end hooks and short chains. The third is made from two sheets of plywood. It's held together with belt straps. Now that you're prepared with all the tools and materials for collecting, it's time to go into the field and plot the areas where you'll be gathering specimens.